In 3 minutes I would like to show you how to replace the factory radio on 2009-2016 Ford Super Duty trucks. Let's get started. If you first time to the channel, please subscribe. Very appreciated that. Remove small side panel on a front console. I'm using just a utility knife with a plastic edge. You can use a plastic pry bars, disconnect electrical connector, or move it to the passenger side. Same thing, pry it out, pull it out, disconnect two connectors on the right side, and good. 7 mil socket to remove a couple screws, one on the passenger side, one more on the driver's side. Pull the bottom out, like so. As you see, it got loose. Then wiggle it a bit, grab those vents, and work it out the upper part. There's a couple locking clips behind. Just don't be too hard on it. It will, will come out. It's pretty easy. Here we go. No problem. Okay. Yeah, we have four screws to remove the stereo. Undo those guys. Guys, if you have any questions, comments, critics, put it down in the comment section below. Okay, old original radio is out. And the reason why we are replacing this because screen, aka display, stopped working. We have a few connectors to disconnect. Disconnect those ones. Undo the antenna. And at this point, you can install the another factory one, what we're going to do. Or you can put a better one okay there's a replacement one from ford local dealer and compare them side by side make sure they're identical okay let's start putting new one in a reverse process same as with it removing connect all those connectors make sure they're fully in they're locked and uh, put the antenna back okay let's place the radio process is very simple let's put those screws back Behind let's check if template. our new Stay unit the walls, and then we is working with these yes plants. it's Let's working months, and display is showing us information <laughs> the Neil good. young album we produced is called Lenoise. No. I right. got to talk to good you. enough radio all right let's put a console back check those uh, connectors for HVAC and those switches make sure they're all in Place, no wiring twisted and put the panel back same way in top first in the bottom tie those two screws yeah put everything back plug it in thank you for your time watching this video if it's helpful thumbs up yeah as you can see how simple it is and uh, stay safe see you soon bye bye